what's up guys how's it going doing another unboxing showcase i figured i gotta play some catch up because we have a lot of figures to kind of get through and hopefully i can do quite a bit more but here we are we have another ben presto statue i love my ben presto statues you just have no idea they just bring these characters to life so very well but this one we have today is the ben presto espresso line um, this is for the anime series One Punch Man. This is Terrible Tornado. All of you muscle heads would be dead without me. Can't you finish one small fry? Maybe you should try starting over from Class C. Take your shells back. <laughs> this area's got some nice rubble to play with. Get out of my way and let me do so. I give up! Uh, th this this character is hilarious to me, um, but is one of the cooler characters um, on the show. So. Can't wait to see more of her when the anime um, re uh, returns. So we're gonna take a look and see what we got going on for her. This sculpt looks amazing, but um, we will definitely check that out once we open this up. But the box, as you can see, shows you all zoomed in close up images of what the statue would look like. But that is all around the fronts and the sides of the box. Here is the top of the box. Yes, I did pay $25 for this. I paid this at the at a convention the other day. But there's the bottom of the box as well. Uh, let's take a look and see what we got going on because I love opening these statues. So if you haven't seen in my videos before, I am I show you guys really how it looks like when you take it out of the box. And what's on the inside of the box is a cardboard insert. And within that insert, you will typically see the item that's bagged up in plastic. So let's see how it's been wrapped up. Um, we'll find this cardboard, which is fine. And as you can see here, it's within this. So we're gonna have to cut this tape right here to kind of pull it out of its encasing. Um, sometimes with Van Presto statues, you may have to assemble the pieces together. So we'll see how things go. And it seems like everything is just in one piece, so that's not too bad. We don't have to build anything here. Um, and you can see here with the plastic, so we have the stand and we have the statue. Looks really nice. So let's cut this open and set it all up. All right, guys, here we have it. We have two pieces. We have the stand, as you can see, simple black stand has a peg hole right there for the foot and most likely because these most of the female statues have heels on. So that's why it's raised up a bit. And at the bottom, just showing you Bandai, that's all. And of course, with the statue itself, taking a look, that green is amazing. I love how that just pops out of this, the color of her sta of of everything on the statue. As we can see, let's just take a look at the details of the statue as well. Skin tone looks great. It's like, like that nice peach cream color. So, and there is, it's, it is two tone. So it's not just one solid color. There is some like blemish in there. So it looks very, very nice. Um, even with her um, attire, the long sleeve, I guess you can say coat and then the coat tails. These coat tails are just, awesome it, it's sculpted so well you can see like the the clothing stress lines all throughout the coattails here really really nice look at that you can see all that right there um they are flexible there it doesn't seem like you're gonna you're really gonna do harm to it um you can see where it's been applied onto the sculpt here so that way it can it's a, it's separate pieces there is a purple tone in like the airbrushing of the of her jacket uh, or shirt top whatever 
uh, so it looks extremely nice you can see it here on the on the box itself but that looks very very nice and with her face they applied that uh, I don't I forgot what it's called but it's you can not decal but it's kind of like stamped on so doesn't look like there's any misalignment to it but it looks very very well done great job on the sculpt so simple but it works effectively and of course with her hair look at this look at all of the different strands that they have sculpted out awesome it is only a one tone color as you can see it's just all green the uh, i thought there was might be a little bit black maybe some darker green in there but it is it does help out but it very well done love it and there's some of the purple on the back as well awesome really really awesome so putting this together very simple enough peg hole peg 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 hole sorry uh we'll just insert it in place considering how long this is i would be very careful in inserting it because god forbid it snaps so right now there's still a little bit of a gap i'm gonna try a little bit more just so it can be more of a snug fit there we are yep that's much better and there we have it we have her all stand up let's put her on the rotating base and take a look and see what else we got going on Okay, so here we have Terrible Tornado. Let's take her sister, Hellish Blizzard. So I would expect her to be much, much taller because on the show she is much more um, in a childlike size. Um, but uh, let's see, there's your height because Hellish Blizzard is definitely going to be taller. Uh, as you can see, actually the scale works very well considering they're both from the Van Presto Espresso line anyway. Um, and then I also have Genos right there. Genos is, I guess you can say, so here's the thing. These, I guess the scale of, of Genos is much um, smaller. Should be in a much, much taller size, including Saitama. So these two came from the same uh, line. I forgot what line this was. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> but you can see here that it seems like they are just slightly taller than these two. At least that's what I, that's how I feel about it. But it still works nice on a shelf when you're, you know, when you have like a whole setup from the anime show. And I think it's not too bad and I like it a lot. So there you go. There is my size comparisons with uh, Halish Blizzard and Terrible Tornado. All right, guys, there you have it. This has been my unboxing showcase for the Ben Presto Espresso line, Terrible Tornado. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a really quick video. I love, I love this anime. I hope we get to see more of it. But let me know what your thoughts are down below. So make sure you hit that like, comment, and subscribe. I'm trying to reach the 4,000 subscriber goal. But I greatly appreciate your time, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you soon, and I hope to see you on the next hunt.